is Jess and I am the lead keeper on the animal activity section here at ZSL London Zoo. The animal activity section is quite a unique one actually as we're able to train lots of different species to come out and be in our live animal training demonstrations. And today I'm going to be getting you up to speed with their training, showing you behind the scenes and even getting you really, really close to those amazing animals and telling you a little bit more about them and their unique personalities. But right now I've got some animals waiting for their lovely breakfast. We're at the treetop zone with uh, one of our keepers, Chelsea, and the wonderful Ringtail Kawati, whose name is Velma. Now, ringtail koatis are found living in South America, high up in the treetops, and they're incredibly agile, which means that they can jump around right into the very, very tops of the trees, and they can do things like this. How cool is that? She can hang completely upside down by her ankles. Now, out in the world of the koatis, it is the girls that are in charge. So Velma here, she has quite a big job keeping everyone in check and making sure that they're doing exactly what they're meant to be doing at the right time. And I can definitely let you know that Velma here, she is quite bossy, but incredibly cute and one of my favourite animals here at the zoo. Now this is Zena, everybody and she is one of our stars here in Super Species Live. She is of course a beautiful serval. Now servals are found living in Africa and they are ferocious predators out in the wild and they actually have one of the cleanest kills out of the animal kingdom. She has incredible long legs which means that she can run at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour and she can even jump directly six foot straight into the sky or in front of her and she uses those powerful claws and her impressive teeth to kill her prey and I think you can agree she's pretty amazing. Long, we like to bring out lots of different animals and we're going to be bringing out four little predators very very soon. They go by the names of Cassius, Tudgers, Macbeth and Oberon. They are of course our family of domesticated pole cat ferrets. So their routine what they have to do is they have to run out through that tunnel, come to the rocks and then when they're done they have to run off in that direction so that they can go behind the scenes where they get a lovely, big, tasty bit of meat. <coughs> Oberon's just, um, he's just checking that he's got every single last piece. So it's actually really quiet here at the zoo at the minute because obviously uh, the zoo is shut to the public, which is quite strange because normally the zoo is buzzing with lots of different people here and it's great for us as keepers to be able to talk to them, tell them about the amazing animals and the conservation about them. But right now, it's very quiet. So it's a great opportunity for us as keepers though, to be able to give lots more training to the animals, lots more enrichment, change up their enclosures, and spend a bit more personal time with the animals and wait until everything goes back to normal. Obviously it's still normal for us here at the zoo. Everything happens exactly the same. We still come in, start work at the same time. So we have to feed, so we have to clean all the animals. Um, but yeah, it's just a little bit weird and different at the minute. So this is our new area that opened um, for Animal Adventure last year. So it's a pretty cool place. It's got lots of places for the children to run around and to climb. We've got the ringtail koatis that live up here. And then just down this way, we've got our signs for Winnie the Pooh. And you can actually see that this is our new display lawn. So we've got the HMS Beagle over the back there for the kids to play on. And then we've got this area here where we can bring lots of different animals out. We can bring our goats and our pigs and our porcupines into this area here. 
And this is where we do our new demonstration, which is called Animal Explorers. And just over here, we've got our wonderful meerkats. This is Timmy, everyone. And he lives in here with his sister, April. And then we have got two very prickly porcupines that also live in here. I'll just go find them. They're probably fast asleep as they're nocturnal. Here they are. So this is Polly and Nancy, our two porcupines that also live here with April and Timmy. And then last, but of course, not least, our wonderful yellow mongoose. This is uh, Mario and his mother, Vixen. So yeah, the new animal adventure is pretty awesome. And again, really quiet with nobody here. So this is the farmyard area in Animal Adventure and it's one of my favourite places to be actually because it's where all the domestic animals live and we're really lucky here at the zoo because <laughs> we can actually uh, bring some of our animals out for a walk every day. So this is Kiri and this is Karen, one of the keepers. <laughs> we've just taken our two Cooney Cooney pigs for a walk. So Kiri at the front and then Rika at the back. So these guys are trying to have a little harness put on. And then we can take them for a walk around the zoo and go and enjoy some grass. 